I just want to take a few minutes and show you how to create a wish list for your party guests. So I'm going to go through the process that I usually do um, for one party guest just to give you an example. So if you go to your Facebook party group, um, you probably have a post that asks people about their kids, what they're into, what kind of books they're looking for, that kind of thing. And so what I usually do because some people comment on here and they don't necessarily want a wish list. I'll do a uh, one thing first, usually. So we'll read. Um, they have a three-year-old boy. They like dinosaurs, animals, and ABCs and numbers. So what I would do is I would reply to their comments. So I'm not going to post this. I'll just give an example. I always take the person. Um comment and then I will make one or two recommendations and so to figure out that there's a couple things you can do one if your team has a Facebook group that helps with product knowledge, recommending books. If you need some ideas, you can go there and you can search, see what posts have been up, or you can post yourself and ask that question. But this one I think is a pretty simple one because I have a toddler, so it's easy for me because um, I know what books he likes. So a three-year-old who likes dinosaurs, animals, and ABC's numbers. Um, it also can be really helpful to know if they're new to Usborne books or not, because if they say that they already have a lot, then you might want to go for new titles. But um, because I don't know if this person has them or not, I'm going to start searching by interest. So they have a three-year-old that likes dinosaurs. So let's say I know big books are really popular. They're great for about age three or four. So I'm going to go for big book of dinosaurs. And you know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to click here and I'm going to copy the link and say something about the book. Um, I'm going to link the book, but then you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to give her a flip through video. I'm going to search for one on YouTube. Great, two minutes, flip through. I like that, camera steady. This one, not sure. I'm just gonna go with this one. Hi, welcome to Esborn Books with Laura. Cool, I like it. So go back, you can see inside here. Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna comment. This actually isn't my party. So that's what I would do though. I would comment that take her and then you know what I would do okay so you're going to comment that first right you want to give her like one ish two ish examples okay then what you can do I also add all my party guests as friends but I would also send her a private message I would say hey I just tagged you in the group here I'll show you an example hey Melissa I just tagged you in Mary's party group that's the hostess. I just tagged you in Mary's party group, showing you a dinosaur book I think your son would love. Would you like me to make a longer list of book recommendations for him or for you? I don't know, whatever you would want to say. So I would send that. So it helps you get a private message going. If she doesn't get it, you can pop back into the group, reply to the comment again, tag her, ask the question. But that's what I would do. And I would say, hey, I already made a recommendation. Would you like more? Okay. Let's say she messages back and she wants more. Here's what you do. Here we go into the nitty gritty here. Go into my account. Add wish list over here on the left. You're gonna type in her name. And then, like I said, it's not for my party, so I'm just making up what the party is. Okay, and you're gonna put the event name. Save. Then you come back over here. Oh, no, never mind. The wish lists are there. So you're just gonna arrow to the end. Edit book details. And then you can confirm right here where it says editing wish list for Melissa Bruyere. So you know that that's what you're doing. Over here, view wish list, you have zero. You didn't put any in yet, okay? 
So if she wants a wish list, I'm definitely going to put that dinosaur's book on there. I mean, unless she told me like, no thanks, or I already have that. And so you just click that little star to add. And if you want to look into the book more, obviously just click it. You can see what it's for. Oh, three and up. Good recommendation, Kelly. <laughs> and you can add it to the wish list from here if you want to. All right, I just added an extra one. So I can just change the number, click update, easy peasy. You can do as many books on the wish list as you want because it's just a list. It's not like telling them to shop anything, but I do try to stick to about a hundred dollars in books per child that I'm adding on there. Um, but everyone does it a little bit differently. So let's see. He also likes animals. <laughs> okay, let's go back to get to the books. So I'm just gonna keep adding several books here. So I'm gonna go to new titles. You can also check the top sellers category. So you can search by interest here. You can search by age. You can search these categories. There's a lot of different ways you can search. And remember, like I said, if you're having trouble, ask your sponsor, ask your team leader, ask your team page, or if your team has, um, Sorry, I'm like thinking about books too. I guess I don't have to really dig into it too much. Um, if they have a page that talks about the products, you can always ask there too. So um, whatever. As a three-year-old, maybe I would add like a uh, sticker book. Oh, matching games for sure. Wish list. Okay. Um, and then they said ABCs. You can search alphabet. You can search ABC. All great stuff you can do here. I know my toddler loves this book. Okay, so then you go down to the bottom of the wish list. This is for anyone's wish list. You just click, or I just double click there, pressed copy. I would go over here, and here's what I would do I would comment. So let's say she already said yes in the message, right? I'd comment to here. So I'm going to show her in two places. Here are more recommendations for you. And then say something to make it personal. My son is obsessed with Alfie and Bet's ABC pop-up book. So definitely check that one out. And then the wish list. Okay. Then I would go and I would message her. So I'm always communicating in both places. Okay. Just wanted to send you the wish list of recommendations in Messenger to once you take a look, message me if you'd like any more or if you have questions about them, and then link it. So that's what I do for wish lists. So you're going to go through that for every single person who comments or anyone who needs recommendations for the party. Hope that's helpful. If you have questions, just comment below.